everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to bring to you guys my project pan update. We are down to like the final few months. Um, my project started I believe back in January did it? No, October. Did it? Yes, October. So it's spanning from October to the end of June and here we are in it's still technically April. It's still technically April. Um, right on the cusp onto May. So, yeah, it's been going pretty well. I'm excited and happy to see the amount of progress I've been getting through. Um, I'm going to also just first off apologize because for the next, like, three days we're getting rainstorms. So that's, like, what's with this lighting and th possible thunder in the background. So... And I also happen to be drinking a carbonated beverage. So if I start to burp, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Pardon me. Alright, so let's hop into this. I've got my whole kind of snazzy list over here. Um, the few one thing I do want to mention that my Avon quick dry spray, I've been using kind of off and on throughout this entire project. I can't find it. <laughs> I used it a little bit earlier this month and then it just disappeared. And I kind of take that mentality of, okay, if I can't find it at this moment, I'm going to find it a little later. I haven't found it and it's later. So I'm just going to kind of nix that thing out of the project because I just, I can't find it. It's not popping up in any of the normal spaces it has been. So I'm like, Meh, whatever. Uh, let's start off with the product that I have left. So the first product is the Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioning Cream. It's the Sleek and Shine range. I am just about, let's look, I'm right about here. So it's a little less than halfway. I like it. It's going well. Um, I'm happy just actually to be using this. I'm finding that I was using the um, blow-drying spray and I this works pretty much exactly the same way. It leaves my hair feeling nice and soft and no split ends. So I'm liking that. The next product will be my NYC Appalicious Glossy Lip Balm. This little sucker. Yeah, a little got an apple right in there. And I use this a good few times this month. It's... It's a little deeper and brighter of a color than I'm necessarily gravitating to this month. But I'm hoping in this next month I'll still be able to kind of catch that particular color and wear it till it's done in the next few months. Next, let's see. My Rimmel London, what are you? Glamize in Royal Linen. So you can see right over here, that's where I've hit pan. Um... I've been mostly concentrating my brush into that corner. It's more of a highlight shade for me on my brow bone and occasionally an all over lid shade. But um, it's still going strong. It's going to be around for a very, very long time. I can tell you that. Um, the next product is also an eyeshadow. It's the Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow. And I'm actually really excited to look at the progress of this little sucker. Let's see. It's a beautiful metallic shade. Um, the one thing I will mention is that the shade is only up to here. So it's nothing is actually at the bottom portion here. And I want to say it's got a good chunk taken out. I love using a um, one of my Real Techniques brushes and kind of swirling it into there and then brushing it onto my lid. It picks up just enough product without seem cakey or starting to crease or anything like that. And it's very true to its name, Creaseless Cream. I like that. Going along with the Creaseless Cream Shadow is my trio from LA Colors. I'm down to that last shade. This is strictly a crease outer V color where I take a very, very fluffy brush, tap it into there, and just lightly go in just to add like a little hint of extra color. I like it, but I'm moving away from the heavier makeup this month and going into slightly lighter, quicker, easier type of makeup. I have quite a few things I'm juggling at the same time so it's one of those things that I don't want to be touching up and I want it to be a very natural very fresh look for me uh, let's see speaking of moving into summer I've got my bronzer right here that right here is the damage I've done so far I've been working my brush to the other side specifically so I can 
feel like I'm making more progress. Not for any other reason, but I just want to feel like I'm actually using more of this than this one little pitiful spot right here. So, um, yeah, and finally, oh, sorry, last product on my project pan that is still left is the Wet n Wild, what are you, Ultimate Minerals Powder Foundation. All of the writing has pretty much already rubbed off. Actually, you can still see the leftover bit there. Yeah, there we go. Um, it was new when it first came out. Uh, <laughs> I took out the sifter, and this is what is left of the powder. It's not a whole lot. I actually, in addition with moving my makeup into something a little bit lighter, I have scooched my um, brushes around and was playing around with what brush would make this powder look the absolutely best. And I came across my Real Techniques brush, and I just love the way it gives me this beautiful airbrushed finish that it, I just look like I have no pores, I'm glowy, and I have just this flawless complexion that truly looks like porcelain. So that's what I've been working on. Granted, it does take less product to achieve that, but I'm happier with that. I, I actually don't mind it because it creates so much nicer of a look. So that's it for the products I have left. Moving on to the product that I finished out. Let's get into here. I have my big old tub of empties right beside me because, well, of course, I will be filming my empties right after this. Booyah, I'm getting productive here. So uh, first product. It is my got to be crazy sleek hot smooth flat iron and blow dry lotion. This was a really good product. I'd say the only downfall of it is that the dispenser only dispenses like one little squirt, like one line. So if you try to squirt directly into your hair, you're going to get a big clump of this product. You have to spray it into your hand, rub it between it, and then dispense into your hair. But it was really good. I liked it. It kept my hair frizz free and it just, I felt like I was doing something better for my hair with it. Will I repurchase it? Probably at a later time because I really do like this Garnier, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> leave-in conditioning cream. So I am want to keep using this one and I think I'll purchase this one again and then maybe come back to this. But uh, overall it was a good product. I think it's worthwhile to check it out. Next, speaking of hair products, speaking as like one of the bane of my existence is this entire project pan that I've probably touched like total worthwhile of five times, the Redken O2 Shine Spray. I don't see the purpose in this at all. I thought if I threw it in, it would actually kind of prompt me to use it, find a way to utilize it. I have no interest in this and I don't need it. So I think it's safe to say that I'm going to just chuck it because it's not being used and I don't know anyone else who's using a shine spray. I mean, please leave in the comment section below if you use a shine spray and how you use it. Like, what is the truly the benefit? Because I don't know if you can tell, my hair is shiny, not greasy shiny, but like healthy shiny. So why do I need this thing? Adios. Uh, next product, speaking of uh, some things that I'm not understanding at the moment, my Moonlight Path. This baby has been through a roller coaster with me. We have had an interesting relationship. I disliked it for a while, and then I liked it, and then I wasn't quite sure about it, and then I liked it again, and then this thing happened. <laughs> um it's gone completely off and I never really had a fragrance go completely off like this it smells like wet dog what does wet dog smell like not it's not the worst I have a dog when she gets wet I mean it's kind of cute she looks all cute and fuzzy and whatnot but um I wouldn't suggest spraying your room with a wet dog fragrance <laughs> because it's not pretty so um yeah this this thing is going it's it's a wet puppy not pleasant last but not least 
is my other Bath and Body Works uh, product. It's the Juniper Breeze Deep Cleansing Hand Gel with Vitamins B5 and E. Kills germs without water. Yeah, I finished this up completely. I, if you've been following my Project Pin videos, you know that I'm very much a person who um, kind of goes with the idea of five second rule. I know some people are going to be like, oh my god, don't even say that. Um, I just find that the best way that I'm protecting myself, and I work in an industry where they're, I'm getting very, very close to people, very close to especially young kids too, who are lovely germy creatures love them to death but uh they're very germy i just find if i allow my body to fight off these smaller colds and smaller germs that it just kind of builds up immunity to the big things thankfully i have not come down with the flu i have not come down with a stomach bug if i have caught a cold it's just been so minor and that's because i've kind of allowed myself to do that i don't really believe the hype and antibacterial stuff as much and I mean, opinion is opinion, but that thing is done. So, uh, that is it for my project pan this month. Uh, I think there was like one more thing I meant to mention. I feel like I always forget something. Oh well, anyways, uh, leave me a comment in the bottom bar below which project you are excited to see completely finished out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.